Hello, my name is Fiona, and I am a certified teacher and a Praxis coach with Study.com. Are you preparing to take the Business Education Content Knowledge Test? This is Praxis Test Code 5101. Praxis 5101 is a test with several subtopics. This problem set covers the subtopic of Information Technology. Let's review the types of questions you can expect to encounter on the exam. Let's get started. Problem number one. A software developer is tasked to create a feature that will execute a specific function only if a certain combination of conditions are met. Which of the following programming concepts will be most applicable to this scenario? Object-oriented programming, array manipulation, looping and conditionals, or data binding. Object-oriented programming organizes code with objects and classes, but isn't specific to conditional execution. So we can cross that out. Array manipulation handles data collections, not condition checking. So let's cross that out as well. Data binding connects data sources to UI elements, not evaluating conditions. So we can eliminate that as well. The correct answer is looping and conditionals, which allow checking multiple conditions and executing a function if the specified conditions are met, using if-else statements and logical operators. Therefore, looping and conditionals is the correct answer. Problem number two. Which type of programming language uses selectors, declarations, properties, and values in web page design? CSS, JavaScript, XML, or HTML5? JavaScript creates dynamic effects on web pages but does not use selectors, declarations, properties, and values for styling. So we can cross JavaScript out. XML stores and transports data, not for styling web pages. So let's cross that out as well. HTML5 structures web content, but does not focus on styling either. So that is incorrect. The correct answer is CSS, Cascading Style Sheets, which styles HTML documents using selectors, declarations, properties, and values to control web page appearance and layouts. Therefore, CSS is the correct answer. Problem number three. An IP address uses numbers between zero and what? 15, 145, 255, or 300. An IP address does not use numbers between 0 and 15, 145, or 300. So let's cross those out. These ranges are insufficient or exceed the 8-bit limit for each segment. The correct answer is 255 as each segment of an IPv4 address can range from 0 to 255, fitting the 32-bit address space requirements. Therefore, 255 is the correct answer. Problem number four. Which of the following types of programs allows multiple people to collaborate within the same document from different devices? Collabware, groupware, shareware, or malware? Collabware is not a recognized term for collaboration software. So let's eliminate that. Shareware is trial software, not focused on collaboration. So we can cross that out as well. Malware is malicious software and not for collaboration. So let's cross that out also. 
The correct answer is groupware, which allows multiple people to collaborate on the same document from different devices with features for real-time editing, communication, and coordination. Thus, groupware is the correct answer here. I trust I was able to clarify the types of questions that you will find on the subtopic of information technology for the Praxis 5101 exam. Please remember to like and subscribe to this channel so that with Study.com's help, you will feel confident and prepared on exam day. Bye for now.